Okay, welcome to our lip liners video. Uh, I have done a combination of my drugstore and high-end ones. Just this video would be super, super short if I split them up. So these are combined. We're gonna do drugstore first. Okay, so the first things I have are from Essence and they're in the nude. For whatever reason, they're both the same shape but they're like a little different. Those are swatches, like they look fairly similar. They're the top two, but they're definitely not the same. So I mean, maybe there's a bit of variation. Next up are NYX lip liners. This one is in the shade Nude Beige. I have three of these, but it's a very, very easy to wear kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you wanna like contour your lips with this, this is excellent. This would be a good dupe for Max Oak, I believe, so. Uh, I highly recommend. I love all the NYX slim, slim Lip Pencils. I just saw them on the Ulta website. I don't know if they were on there before, but they were showing up as new and they were showing up as $4 each, so that's pretty exciting. I've always seen them in store, but I don't know. Maybe the website never carried them until recently. The next one is New Truffle. I tend to go for this when I'm doing more of like a brownie lip. Um, also, if you're darker than me, you could probably use this as your... Uh, your nude beige. It's just, I don't know, I, I love brown based nudes. This next one is called Soft Brown. I also really love these. Like They're all very tiny. I, I get very good use out of them. Um, so this one's a bit of an orangey brown, also love. This one is also a NYX pencil, but it's from their Suede Matte Lip Liner line. And the shade is called London. I like the shade a lot, but this formula, because it's matte, I guess. It does go on drier and it doesn't go on as smooth, so I'm going to declutter this one. Lastly is a Sonia Kashuk lip liner in the shade Maple, and I do like this, but okay, I, I think I'm gonna do this in this <laughs> declutter. I might only keep like five different liners, and I'll explain to you guys why when I get to kind of the more high-end ones. Um, but this one, I'm probably going to declutter as well. Okay, next we're going to do the high-end lip liners. Swatches are done. Okay, first up is the Cargo Swimmables liner in Oahu. Everything in the Cargo Swimmables line as far as lip pencils and eye pencils go are awesome. I think I got this on sale when it was on Sephora for like $9, so keeping really love. Got it in like the past year. Next is the Hourglass Panoramic Lip Liner in Eden. Uh, I feel like they need to expand their range a little bit. I understand that Hourglass is kind of like, when it comes to color cosmetics, they don't have like 20 of anything. Um, but there's basically one nude, one red, one purple, one, you know what I mean? Like there's just one of everything. So I'd love them to expand it just a teeny bit. I love the formula. This one's a little older, so I'm going to get rid of it because it like doesn't, it's, it doesn't uh, layer on top of itself. It gets very sticky. Um, what I do love though, it also includes a brush. I love using a brush to blend out lip liner. By Terry in the shade Perfect Nude. This is a really good color. Um, it just doesn't... It's kind of when I want to do a really, really nude lip. I know that these swatches can be deceiving and that they all kind of look the same, but this one on me goes really, really light for whatever reason. I feel like your skin tone as well as the shade, like the natural shade of your lips can affect the way lip liners look a lot of the time. And this one, for whatever reason, goes very, very nude on me. This one is Laura Mercier's Hazelnut Tea. This is a more pinker uh, liner on me, so I'm gonna keep it. The formula is great. Also, I find like they're just really easy to use. This is the Bare Minerals Lip Liner in the shade Freestyle. I love this. They're Pencils are really lightweight compared to other pencils, and the formula is really smooth. Almost kind of feels like a gel, but not quite. This is Lancome's Bronzel. Love it. The formula is so smooth. I even feel like the actual like wood slash, like how do you say it? Like the pencil that it, whatever it sits in, this wood is like really nice wood because it it sharpens really cleanly and easily. You don't get like sometimes with the wrong pencils, you get a little bit of like wood shaving slash slash chips you know what i mean but keeping this this one also is one of the ones that have like a brush tip that's really great this is nothing but nude from sephora it's their gel line love it i don't know is this on sale already but i tend to buy well actually this is the only lip liner i have that is not in like a pencil form as far as being able to sharpen i find that any kind of pencil 
um, regardless, eyes or lips. If it's in something like this, it dries out faster. But I think the nature of this formula, because it's kind of gel, it did not. I've had this for over a year, so um, keeping this. There's also a sharpener on the other end. This is the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder Collab Pencil. This one is just called Victoria, and I love it. <laughs> I wonder if, you know, she. It's. I feel like it's probably just another color in their line. I don't know if this color is particularly unique. Um, if anyone knows, let me know. This is the Kevin Okwa liner in the shade medium. It's just really nice, really easy. It's very similar to maybe Spice from MAC. Uh, a little more mauve and less orange um, coral vibes. Uh, Spice goes really like pigmented on me for whatever reason. Okay, so speaking of, this is MAC Spice. This goes very, like I would have to wear this as almost like a lipstick. I don't know how to explain it. It's also kind of similar to Charlotte Tilbury's Hot Gossip, which I'll show you in a little bit, but keeping, I love MAC lip liners, even though as you can see, the wood is a little kind of, I don't know what the word is, grainier. This is MAC Oak, love it to overline, like just adore. This is stripped down, probably my favorite, like one of my favorite lip liners and naturally my favorite one from MAC. It's just so perfect on my skin tone. Um, this is so tiny. I probably have a backup, my backup drawer, but love. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude. Um, again, this one's like a much smaller pencil. I've used it a lot and I really love her formula. As you can see, again, like her wood is, but the wood is like very clean looking. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Hot Gossip. It's kind of similar to MAC Spice, but it is a little warmer and goes even a little more orange. Um, I love this as like a lipstick. Uh, if you are my skin tone, I highly recommend if you want to go a little more than nude. This is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm going to declutter this. I really, whenever I wear this, it's just, it's just too pink for me. Okay, so this is Pat McGrath's Contour. Absolutely love it. Similar to MAC Oak as far as using it to kind of overline your lips. It doesn't add a lot of color on me, so I like using it to kind of fill in spaces where I like don't have a continuous lip line. But her formula is, I feel like it's a gel formula. Well, yeah, there we go. It's called a permagel. It's my favorite. This is hands down my favorite lip liner. If I had to get rid of all liners and I could only choose like one formula, it would be Pat McGrath's. So. That's, that's that. <laughs> this one is Pat McGrath Supernatural. This is probably a very everyday liner for me. I have backups of both of the Pat McGrath ones. If there are other colors that you guys think I would like, let me know. I absolutely love. I don't have Pat McGrath in stores by me, so I'm just really dependent upon swatches and recommendations, but super love. Okay, so those are the keeps, and these are the declutter. I know, not that many. We didn't really do that good. Oh, I don't know. I guess as far as these declutters have been going, I haven't really, um, I haven't done half and half of anything. So I haven't done at least 50% 50, 50 of anything. Although if push comes to shove, I would probably get rid of all of my drugstore lip liners. And as far as the luxury, like high-end liners go, I would keep Pat McGrath, Charlotte Tilbury, and maybe MAC, I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay, so if I were really pushed, that, this would be the declutter pile. And that would be the keep, right? That would be, look. that would look like a much more successful declutter, right? I don't know what we're gonna do, actually. I think I could be very happy with this, but then I feel like some of these here are like newer to my collection and I'm like, I don't wanna just get rid of them like that, right? Okay, on to the next declutter.